Hello, and welcome to a little bit of a different video. Uh, this is going to be a vlog of sorts. Uh, today we're going to be going to the Great Willie's Picnic, which is going to be about a 52 mile drive from where I live. And I am going to be driving the FC. And in case you haven't seen my garage videos, this is what I look like. So, with that, let's go over a little bit of what I did to prepare. So, here she is. So, pretty much what I've done is I topped off all the fluids, uh, oil, trans, transfer case. Uh, I have myself a spare quart of oil. I have myself about a gallon of trans and transfer case fluid. I have two gallons of antifreeze and just about everything I can think of needing. Uh, one thing of note is, if you look in here, you'll see a dent. And that dent is where the shocks should be. And that's because uh, driving the FC a little while ago, the uh, shocks bottomed out and broke the shock towers off. So I'm gonna be driving there without shocks. So this should be fun. Uh, other things to note, uh, I thought the cigarette outlet worked in the FC, it doesn't, so uh, I'm gonna have to conserve phone battery and uh, hope I can charge it somewhere at the show. <laughs> so We'll see how things go. Plannings for the week. <laughs> this, well, I did plan ahead, but uh, having things uh, perfect are for the week, I guess. So with that, let's get to driving. So, uh, on the way, one little thing, uh, Cone Dodger, uh, as you probably know from our racing series and a bunch of other videos, uh, has been bugging me ever since I got this thing to do a 0 to 60 challenge. And I can only assume he keeps asking me to do it because he knows, because I've told him, that it can't do 60. So, uh, I guess I'll just do it. I wanted to overproduce the hell out of this thing, and I might still do it just for kicks and giggles, but uh, I figure, ah, what the hell, I'm doing this, might as well do it now. So, uh, let's see how this goes. Alright. Oh yeah, grind the graders a little bit. Ah, oh yeah. This is easy with one hand, let me tell you. That's second gear. Oh, we're motoring. We're motoring.
back home after the 52 mile drive home made it back we ran pretty good it uh ran around 210 most of the way there which is kind of to be expected with it being 90 degrees out and humid it's hot <laughs> so jeep ran hot there's a lot of hills it handled the hills uh, on the way back it definitely was uh, a little more exhausting on the jeep and me uh, a lot more uh, gentle rolling hills that kind of just slowly bogged the deep down until uh, I have to kind of downshift it but made it all back and had a good time uh, that was fantastic it deep did really good I was quite happy so uh, Hopefully this will be the first of uh, many trips in this, and uh, hopefully I'll have shocks next time. Hopefully I have that repaired, so. Uh, sorry I didn't really talk a whole lot at the show. I took some video of the Jeeps that were there. Uh, I was in heaven, but uh, I'm still kind of not used to talking on camera, as weird as that is, and fine doing videos, uh, like kind of the dirt rally stuff, all that. I'm fine with that. It's just I'm not quite used to filming myself. It's that weird and maybe I'll get better at it as time goes on but uh, maybe I'll show you what I picked up at the show uh, I didn't take video of that getting it all in the FC was interesting uh, so let me show you that so as you can see neatly packed into the front seat I have two flat fenders that I picked up uh, and as you can see down there I actually did end up getting a trophy uh, which I was quite happy about wasn't expecting at all but I got the best non CJ so everything that wasn't a CJ 2A up to CJ 5 there I uh, won that which is uh, really surprising there's a lot of cool Jeeps there um, that I thought deserved it just as much as my Jeep did but uh, I thought that was kind of cool um, as you can see, uh, <laughs> it was uh, a little bit of a tight fit. I tried putting it behind the seats uh, in the door pocket, or behind in the pocket behind the seat. Uh, didn't quite fit. The seat almost went all the way back. So I ended up just throwing them in the passenger compartment. And if we move on to the bed, there's the other part of the purchase. I got a hood and a front grill for the for a two A, and. Uh, had to actually buy the strap at the show from one of the vendor guys. <laughs> I paid way too much for it, but uh, I wasn't planning to buy anything, so I didn't have any straps in the Jeep. So uh, I had to get that so I can get this uh, hood home because uh, there's no way I was getting the grill and the hood in the back or in the cab. So, and I wasn't gonna risk kind of trying to have it sit in the back without going anywhere. Maybe if I got creative, I might have worked something out, but uh, uh, it wasn't worth it. So I got it strapped down, and it was pretty solid. It wasn't going anywhere, so uh, it was uh, pretty cool. That stuff, uh, maybe I'll make a video on. I doubt it, because uh, I'll probably have to figure out as I go and put it together, but I'll be making that into my new computer desk. So uh, that should be cool. And... Uh, I'll, I'll definitely post pictures once I do that. So, with that, I would like to let me, I guess, turn the camera around. Uh, ooh, it's bright. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Uh, maybe I'll get better with this stuff as it goes on. It's still weird to me, but uh, uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments how you felt this went. Uh, I'll, I'm sure I'll have my thoughts when I'm editing all this together. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.